Oh hey there, and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make a mill for less than $200 out of this. Hey there, and welcome back to the Adventures of Big Age, where we do everything by the book and don't use super glue or duct tape. Let's get stuck in. Drill press, $109. Milling bench, $39.95. The look on my face when this doesn't work, priceless. <laughs> I've attached for $10. Just uh, a little tiny uh, vice grip majigging that stands and I think I've already broken it. We'll put this to the side for one second. So we need to sort out the drill press. So every drill press, well most of them, this one at least, this $109 one, this has this little thing here which is actually spring loaded and uh, I didn't tighten it properly before and it almost shot and actually took my eye out. So here I'm going to remove the spring. Spring gone. Okay, that's removed. So now we need to tighten this because there's still so much play in there. I need to get this thing tight and in the upright position. Now from here, I'm not going to be able to actually uh, move this up and down after I do this. So uh, you actually need to bring the workbench up into whatever you're milling. So what I do is I chuck on two washers over the top. We'll put two of these nuts on there and tight them up. Okay, so there's a little rubber seal just in the top of this, and I want to pinch that up so it can't move side to side as tight as humanly possible. Secures nut on nut on nut on nut. So I've left this under here in my workshop and it's just gone full of dust, dirt, and everything like that. So what I have is, this is my gun cleaning kit and uh, it's got greases and oils and stuff. If it's good enough for a gun, it's good enough for me. Okay, so the next step is to mount this to the actual bench. Okay, so now I've got my trusty paint pen. Beep, beep, beep. And it doesn't fit. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the hammer? Ah, screw it. You know what's easier? Using camera magic. That's weird. No shake. I think it's gonna work. That will be mounted right there. Uh, Kablamo camera magic again. That's pretty sturdy considering what I've done. So that is ready to test actually. That was quick. What is this, five millimeters? So like a 38 16. <laughs> One of my milling bits that I got off a friend. Um, I can't afford this. This is worth more than this entire setup just this one milling bit. If I use a good one of these and a bad one of these, it might make this bad or it might make this good. Who knows? Um, I've put this up here um, because I am not taking a shard of tungsten to the neck. Only thing left to do now is fire it up. I'm contemplating my life choices. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna shut it down for a second. It's actually, it's not doing a bad job, but it's, it's just a little bit bitey. Let's go. Okay, so that was a little bit janky. Since I've done that and just like run straight into it, I've learned something called conventional milling, which I think is the first thing that you should actually learn. But now I'm, I'm learning it now, so it's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut out this umbrella like in the Squid Games and if I fail, um, I think I'll get shot or something. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so there's climb milling and conventional milling. I'll put it up on the screen for you. I guess I would be running it with the edge like that. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I figured out my issue. I was going too fast. I'm really impatient. I got ADHD. So on those first cuts where it's like, like it's, it's just trying to cut too aggressively for the sturdiness of this bench. But as soon as I started to go slow in like 0.1 millimeter increments, 
it was just taking away the material nice and smooth. I'm gonna drill out majority of the material and then I'm gonna come back in with the mill because it's just, it's gonna take way too long. That took like five minutes for like 10 mil, maybe. Oh, let's add inches. Who cares? Okay, so I have now turned it into Swiss cheese and uh, as we all know from the TV series, uh, 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 uh. Apparently that helps. Mm. Schwarf and oil doesn't taste good. Could just cut this with a grinder to be honest. And that's what I'm gonna do. Umbrella has been cut out. Okay, so now that's been cut out, now, now I'll get back to the milling. Uh -huh. So welcome to the end of another Big H video. I've managed to make a tiny umbrella, which is janky as hell, but I feel like that's a pass. I don't think I should get shot. So all in all, not the greatest milling machine, but if you need to do small projects for 160 bucks, can't really go wrong, you know? I mean, it's milling, but the problem is the price of the milling bit. It's $160 for a milling bit. If you can afford to spend that on one bit, then you can afford to buy a thousand dollar machine. So if you want to do some serious milling, go spend a thousand bucks. But in this case, you know, this does exactly what I need it to do. It gets it to a shape. I can file edges down and things like that and, you know, make it all nice later on. I'm not going to do that because I want you guys to see what the raw milling is. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, all of that business. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.